I'm super straight. I only date the opposite gender women that are born women. So you can't say I'm transphobic now because that's just my sexuality, you know? So if you're heterosexual and you're a man and you said you wouldn't date a trans woman because it's a preference, that's just transphobia, period. The reason that we're so pissed off about this trend is because it's definitely to make fun of us. Hey guys, welcome back to my main channel. So the girls are mad. The girls are fighting, the girls are battling. There is a new sexuality, because of course there always is. Going viral online, getting a lot of popularity and traction and new people identifying as it, and it is called Super Straight. So Super Straight is pretty much exactly as it sounds. It is super straight people. It is people who do not have any attraction to or date trans people. So clearly this is gonna be a war. This all started on TikTok, which follow me on TikTok, by the way, I am on TikTok, unfortunately. So it's only right that we show the video that started it. Here we go. Yo guys, I made a new sexuality now, actually. It's called super straight, okay? Since straight people or straight men is myself, I get called transphobic because I wouldn't date a trans woman. You know, they're like, would you date a trans woman? I'm like, no, why? That's a female. Uh, no, like that's not a real woman to me. Like I want real woman. No, you're just transphobic. So now, I'm super straight. I only date the opposite gender women that are born women. So you can't say I'm transphobic now because that's just my sexuality, you know? So this video has amassed millions and millions of views and a ton of responses and has started an entire movement. Apparently they also have their own flag, which I do have to say, you know, I respect the super straights. Like I'm not super phobic, but I will say those are the colors of Grindr, the gay dating app. So... You know, I do suggest a rebrand on the flag. So while this clearly started out as a meme and as a joke, it has revealed a lot about the woke side of the LGBT community. A lot of people are really showing their hands and reacting to it as if it wasn't a joke and now it's kind of become something that isn't even a joke and now it's serious. It's just, that's the beauty of memes really. Like it can start as a meme and then suddenly it's real life. When memes become real life. It has made a lot of people in the trans community and the LGBT community very mad. The reason that we're so pissed off about this trend is because it's definitely to make fun of us. It's not to be a legitimate thing. The reason that they're saying super straight and making it like a flag and all that stuff is to make us upset. Now onto the legitimacy of that attraction thing. What is the thing that identifies a trans woman over a regular woman? Name something. And apparently the originator of Super Straight has been getting a ton of death threats from activists and his mother's business is being threatened with fake reviews, just bombarded. And I'm just really confused because why would the community of love and acceptance and that believes in not shaming people for their sexuality be sending death threats? That's weird. To all the people who are super straight, remember you are transphobic. You are desperate for attention. You aren't part of the LGBTQ plus community. You are making a mockery of the LGBTQ plus community. You aren't oppressed. Just out with it and say you're transphobic. So I think what makes this troll so effective is that it has really lured people into reacting to it as if it's real and now it kind of is and the fact that people are upset over this new sexuality being created is a little hypocritical coming from the folks who created abrosexual demisexual gerontosexual gynosexual intrasexual callosexual multisexual pomosexual sapiosexual and literally hundreds more i am not exaggerating there are hundreds and like, even though super straight is a joke, the irony is that is a lot more valid than a lot of those I just listed. Actually, all of them. <laughs> Y'all are releasing new sexuality is more than I even release videos. Like it's your full-time job. <laughs> but you freak out when someone else does it, make it make sense. It's obviously completely valid to exclude trans people from your dating pool if you're not attracted to them. And anyone who says otherwise is honestly kind of rapey. The fact that people equate it to hatred automatically kind of makes me hate them. Like, I am not attracted to little people. Contrary to popular belief, I post all the time with my best friend, JC. People think he's my boyfriend, he's not. Like, it doesn't make me ableist or anti-little people if I don't want to date a little person or if I simply am not attracted to them because I like tall men. God, I love tall men. And even if super straight is a joke, it's still born out of something very real, which is the frustration that people are feeling from having their sexual orientation invalidated to validate the feelings of other people. Like 
insisting that you have to be attracted to trans people if you're straight. How can you guys be mad if people who are not attracted to trans people make a new sexuality and they're like, okay, y'all can have straight. I'm super straight then. <laughs> like there have been worse ideas. I'm just gonna say this and people can be so mad. I don't care. In my opinion, straight men who are attracted to trans women, they're somewhere on the Kinsey scale, okay? Like they are not perfectly straight. I'm just gonna, I don't care. It is what it is. That includes any man I've ever been with who liked me because I'm trans. They are somewhere on the Kinsey scale. It doesn't make them gay. It doesn't make them bisexual. But they are not clearly 110% straight. And to deny that. Why would you deny that? Maybe straight is the best possible word for you, but you're clearly still one or two points to the left of perfectly straight on the Kinsey scale. And that's okay. Why is every sexual preference okay except for not finding trans people hot. And as a certified card-carrying trans testicle, I do have to say, I would never want to be with a man who felt like he had to go on a date with me or had to entertain the idea of being with me simply for woke points or to avoid being called a bigot. That's just pathetic. You really need to have, and as trans people, we should have enough confidence to say, it's okay if I am not your preference, I'm my own preference. I like me, you don't have to like me. Why is everyone so concerned with who's labeled what and who who and blah 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 like mind your business maybe the reason why no one wants to date you isn't because of your gender but because you're an unlikable <laughs> consider for all the straight and non-trans people watching i'm gonna offer you maybe some perspective like i understand being trans myself why other trans people do this like whole like you have to date trans people you're transphobic you're a bigot i understand why they do it it's born out of severe insecurity it's born out of the need to seek validation from others some trans people insecure trans people really 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 need to believe that they are 100 percent man or woman depending on where they're transitioning to and they may get that validation from people that they're dating or people they're pursuing or are pursuing them but that's toxic trans or not trans you should not get validation from men i don't need to validate validate myself by exclaiming how bad straight men want me. I don't need to validate myself by saying gay men don't want me. I know who wants me. I know who doesn't want me. Your husband wants me. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> you have to just be okay with you. And if you're not okay with you, then you probably are going to be the type that thinks that people who don't want to date you have some kind of hatred or have it out for you. Interestingly, there's also a super gay and super lesbian hashtag that's growing because this isn't even just about straight people like this also applies to gays and lesbians like lesbians who are not attracted to trans women gay men who are not attracted to trans men these people are being told they have to be as well and it's honestly one of the most toxic elements of the whole gender ideology debate anytime you're trying to control or police who dates who who has sexual relations with who like you're creepy and you're a problem I remember growing up when there was a lot more common to have like, you know, evangelical and super religious people trying to police how gay people shouldn't be with, you know, members of the same sex. And, you know, I hated that and I fought against that. That's a little less common now than y'all, little wokies, who are trying to police now sexuality and who is with who. Stop. It's creepy. It's rapey. And it's so overdone. It's so overblown. And this whole debate has been going on for years. And it's like, what is going to stop it? What is going to be the nail in the coffin that we don't have to talk about this anymore? And speaking on the super gay and super lesbian, I have met multiple. I've met two gay men in my life who are attracted to trans men. I had a gay best friend for a while that I'm now kind of distant from, but we were best friends for a long time. And he is the gayest person I know. Like crazy about men. As a man, he is crazy about men. Okay. Super gay super gay. And one night when we were drinking, he confessed to me that sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes he finds attraction in trans men and would like to be with a trans man and watches certain videos online about trans men. And I was gagged, but it kind of made sense because there are a lot of men who are only with biological women who also would try out a trans woman. Kinsey scale, like go figure. A lot of people are somewhere on the Kinsey scale. They're not perfectly one thing or the other, but if you are perfectly one thing or the other, why can't you say that? most trans people I've known in my life and that I've met, like, they don't actually believe this. <laughs> they don't actually think you're not transphobic if you're not into trans people. A huge chunk of people who are saying this crap, that you're a bigot if you don't date trans people, they're not even trans. They're just speaking on our behalf, like this lovely woman. Let me break this down. Trans women are women. So if you're heterosexual and you're a man and you said you wouldn't date a trans woman because it's a preference, that's just transphobia, period. Girl, bye. You are not even trans. There's enough of us making us look bad. We don't need you coming in. Sorry. Bye. Nice try, but bye. So here are a couple of reasons why someone would maybe not want to date a trans person. These are 
valid reasons and they're not hate-based. So the first is having kids. It is a difficulty having kids as a trans person. Take it from me. I cannot just go off birth control for a month and bada bing bada boom, I have a bun in the oven. That's not my story. That's not my journey. My journey includes a lot of expensive medical costs, a lot of, you know, legal processes, and just a lot more for me to have a biological child. So if someone doesn't want to be on that kind of a journey, and if having kids is very important to them, having a lot of kids and having them soon in life, if they don't want to be on that journey with me, I don't even blame them. It doesn't mean they hate me. It means they want to have kids and have kids soon. They want six kids and that's their life and that's their story to be told. That's fine. That's valid. Another valid reason, genital preferences. You know that thing that like most people have that pretty much everyone outside of your woke group chat has? Yeah, that's valid. And yes, trans women and trans men can have sex changes down below. That doesn't automatically make you meet the genital preference of a person just because you got it surgically done. I, even though I'm trans, am not attracted to trans men because of that. Because while I see plenty of trans men who are handsome and jacked and like seem like great people, I can't get past not having a naturally formed thing down there. Like that's what I prefer. Not a surgically created one. It's got to be there from birth, honey. That's just my preference. And that's valid. It's valid for me being trans and valid for a person that's not trans. Baby, sometimes in life, you just gotta take the L. Not everyone's for you. You're not for everyone. There are other fish in the sea. Work on you. Work on you. Do some introspective work. Find out why you have such a grudge on your shoulder that not everyone wants to be with you. Work on this attitude of entitlement, which is very unattractive. And maybe once you do that and become a little bit better of a person, someone will definitely come along and want to be with you because you're a good person. And on that note, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Subscribe to my second channel. I'll put an annotation somewhere on the screen for you to do that. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok because I post on there way more than I do on here. So you gotta follow those to keep up with me. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.